Hey everyone, welcome to Second Act Escapes, where we will give you ideas for living outside the box in retirement. We'll introduce you to little known travel destinations in the lower 48, bring you great tasting recipes, provide financial education, and many other topics to enhance your life. Thanks for joining us. This will be fun. Hey everyone, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and right now at this moment, I'm standing at the center of the universe. Who knew that that was in Tulsa? This is kind of an interesting little spot. I'm talking normally, but yet the, the sound around me, my voice is reverberating, just like it was in a dome, and uh, yet we're completely outside. We're getting ready to head down to the Brady Art District. We're gonna visit the Woody Guthrie Museum and uh, share a little bit about that with you. So come along, this will be fun. Today we're at the Woody Guthrie Center and I'm with Jerry Wofford. And uh, Jerry's the education director here at the center. And Jerry, tell me a little bit about the history of the center. What was the brains behind it? How did it get started? Uh, so the Woody Guthrie's archives opened to the to researchers in 1996 in New York City. Um, that was uh, coordinated and put together by his family. And in 2011, uh, the archive was purchased by the George Kaiser Family Foundation here in oh, Tulsa. Wow. Um, and they, the mission for the archives all along was to have a public space like this where the general public could come and see Woody Guthrie's work, yep. not just academics and researchers. Um, so in 2011, that was the main uh, point of purchasing the archives, just to bring it back to Oklahoma, Woody Guthrie's home state, and to make it accessible to the public here. So 2013, we opened the center um, right here in downtown Tulsa. Um, we have space for the public to exhibit and see the different things that we got yeah. did. Bunch of kids and here today. That's we have a fantastic. Bunch of kids here today. Yeah. Yep. We also still maintain a space for researchers. So we have a vault in the back that has all of the others' work. Yep. And a reading room and different uh, archives and things that we can do to help people who are studying Woody and the time and the world in which he lived. All right, thank you. Jerry, I appreciate it very My much. Pleasure. Yeah. All right, when you're in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, make sure you stop by the Woody Guthrie Center. It's fantastic. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Woody Guthrie is one of America's greatest folk singers, as well as a prolific songwriter, journalist, cartoonist, and artist. Born Woodrow Wilson Guthrie in 1912 in Okima, Oklahoma, he eventually moved to L.A. and later settled in New York City, where he died of Huntington's disease at a far too young age of 55. To take a line from his most famous song, This Land is Your Land, he really was from California to the New York Island. Much of his work chronicled the social, political, and cultural values he developed growing up in America during the first half of the 20th century. He wrote about what he witnessed and experienced, which included his early years in the Dust Bowl of Oklahoma, the disenfranchised Okies in the migrant camps of California, and the political fallout of the early Cold War years on performers in New York City. Over the years, his songwriting has influenced the work of Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Pete Seeger, and of course his son Arlo Guthrie, just to name a few. The Woody Guthrie Center is well worth the stop as it is a warehouse of his legacy, his life story, and his generation's historical perspective.
Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, have fun living outside the box.